What is going on, everybody? Parasite episode 23. Final two episodes. Saw the cold opening. He's he's going through some kind of like... Like that speech everybody has, kind of like before death, where they're like, I'm not afraid. Why am I not, you know, freaking out more? He's kind of going through the back and forth in his head. Um, seeing everything clearly. And then he walks up on Goto. Is Goto asleep? Like, is this our chance to just walk up and like, I don't know. Um, and then what happens after? I don't think he dies and then Goto just goes and like slaughters the continent. So we'll see. Pressing play on the second to last episode right now. Let's see what we got. Guess all of them have to sleep. This might be your chance. Is that blade even sharp enough, though? Migi couldn't even get all the way through. He doesn't sense him at all. Are you going to try or just sit there? That was the dullest blade I've ever seen in my life. He's not going to find him either. I mean, he could search the entire forest and probably run him. Why die in vain just to say you, you'll you die? Episode is so dark as hell when they do this in the forest and shit. I can't see a damn thing. <laughs> Didn't we talk about flame flower flame throwers? Go ahead and light that forest on fire. But why he'll just reheal? What does it matter if you cut him and it doesn't do anything when he just will regenerate? Did he just bite that off? And this is my question. Does he still have his, like, speed and... And all that? Even though Migi is technically gone? That didn't work, did it? So much for that. That cleaver's still stuck back there. Is 
Migi's definitely going to show up. I don't know in what fashion, but they're playing at it too much for Migi to not show up. That didn't do anything. Good God. Yeah, I still don't know if he has like his speed, his his quickness, the way he was jumping and everything. I don't know if he still has that or not. I was gonna say maybe that'll give him some chance, but he just got like organs crushed. Where they were dumping all the stuff, remember? That's supposed to be the baby? How the hell did he grow so fast? Is that supposed to be? No. Wait. I don't know. the hell's going to happen here? Sunlight make him tired? Yeah, he didn't heal from that. Guess we're going for the uh, lower stomach there. He needs something much sharper than that. I was about to say, he's going to decapitate your whole upper body by the time you get something in there. How did he even close that gap that fast without Goto, like, cutting that off? He can't sense you. Just chill out. Relax, everybody calm down. Oh shit. Stay hidden. Shit. What the hell can he actually do? I don't know what he can do, so... If anybody's got anything for us, is that Migi? I don't understand how Migi was absorbed, what happened?
Yep. What? And they put like the epic Super Saiyan music too. <laughs> How the hell is that even a thing? I don't understand what's happening. Why is it even stronger than... I have no idea what just happened, or how that happened, by the way. Why are they not wanting to go through with the kill? Damn. So everybody in there thinks they're going to die, but he's trying to say, let's finish this shit. Poisons? What was the poison? Just stabbing him in that weak spot? What the hell? Swing! Huh? The, what was the poison? Just him getting stabbed? Huh? I mean, yeah, that was the safest form. So was there parts of Migi still in him and then parts of Migi also absorbed as well? The trash? Oh, so there actually was a poison put in him. Like that stuff, that pile, that heap of stuff, like actually is poisonous. You know, really left that body and then double tap the head. What are you doing? So are y'all just going to allow this to happen? So are you going to stop it or what? Go. Does Migi want to? He didn't make it. You had to do it. Yeah, he has to do it.
Yeah, and then we're just going to have this problem later on, but yeah, yeah, so he's going to have to do it. They're playing that, like, oh, what's that track? What's that piano? I don't think it's Chopin. What is it called? I always hear this. You see that you hear this in movies all the time. Commercials. He's going through the mental crisis again. You can't allow him to live. So what's the what's the play? <laughs> You're just going to let him live and walk away? Correct. He sounds like a uh, L. I mean, not L. He sounds like Light. Really going through this, like, who deserves to kill? But then if he is to survive and kills hundreds of more people, is that also like on you as well? Or I think you kind of do <laughs> have that decision to make. I'm going to assume that it didn't regenerate. Just for the sake of the story. Or did he change his mind? Okay. Thank you. I was about to say. And he returned the blade to he she knows what's up. He's like make tell stories about me. <laughs> and walked on off into the sunset. Is that the episode? Alright, good. That I'm glad it went that way, because the last couple episodes, especially when we had that the mayor, which actually turned out to be human, which we didn't really talk about that there, so was the mayor like some parasite apologist, or just agreed with, I mean, maybe the parasite's like, we're going to take him over, but he's like, you know, don't, don't kill me, hear me out, or let me hear, like, what can I do, and heard what they wanted and maybe agreed, because we never kind of addressed that, that like, the mayor was like, like when he was spouting all that like you're a poison to the earth and you know you're higher up on the food chain and just started going off on these wild tangents and they ended up killing him um like he was human it wasn't some parasite talking that shit so like as they were going through that and doing all that stuff like he was just hanging out with parasites um so we've kind of been going through that the last couple episodes of like 
why is it that humans get to make these decisions and do what they do and they're the ones that get to reap the benefits of the earth and higher up on the food chain they're no better what makes you different from us and you know xyz and Migi kind of made the comment there you know after being inside his body i found you know the difference between me and him or you and him is he has the desire to kill and won't stop killing but you on the other hand kind of like have that conscious decision to make um then when and what was wild to me is like when he was going to walk away there at the beginning i was like that's actually wild to me because the reason he went out there in the first place because he didn't want more humans to die even though he didn't think he had a chance he was going to try because he didn't want people to die fighting the monster that i guess he failed to or should have put down or felt that he might have caused to go on this rampage so he went out there for that reason then after he kind of comes back together with Migi and has these thoughts he's like you know is it my place to kill an organism that's could be responsible for killing hundreds of millions is it my right to put that down uh and he decided it wasn't you know he doesn't get to be you know judge and jury and executioner and all those type of things letting fate just kind of which would have been wild to me though like how does just from a story i felt like there was no way that he was going to continue because how do we just let him run around if you guys don't have to come back at the beginning of the next episode and put him down or maybe the humans end up putting him down so your hands are kind of clean of it um but you see it in like superhero movies all the time and you know you weigh that like thought of you know we're not going to sacrifice one life like, one life is no less important than, like, the world's life. You know, the, you always see that, like, when the bad guy wants you to turn in somebody and everybody in this city or planet will be safe or give us this and we won't kill and hand them over. We just need the life of one to save. And, like, the heroes always decide that, you know, yeah, that's easy and it could be, but one life is equal to the lives of all. But you have the then that's a moral question you have to ask yourself. Would you do the same if you walked away? If you and especially like when you kind of already know what the outcome is, you don't you don't know if you could stop or like what some things may turn into. But you know what Goto is and like how many bodies you've already seen him drop. You already know the worst of how that turns out. It could be different if Goto was a parasite struggling between like, oh, I should kill, but I don't want to kill. I don't know what to do. Then it's like, let fate decide what he turns into. You already know what he turns into. So the fact that you were going to let him turn back into that, that's wild to me. Because if you ask, I could see it on the other way. Like you could ask yourself as a person, like this person has shown crazy tendencies. Do you think you can steer them on the right path if pushed the right direction? Or do you just kind of put them down and don't even risk it um you see that kind of back and forth in movies and things all the time this way though this is like knowing a mass murderer or someone that's going to shoot up or do something or like they always give you that like hitler scenario in movies like if you could go back and kill baby hitler would you kill baby hitler <laughs> and people are like oh yeah i would but like it's harder to do that when you're actually like put back in that situation of you know what this person turns into but is it your ch but if you kill them, does that make you any better than what they are? And why do you get that right? It's, it's a back and forth discussion that could just go on forever. So we'll see what the last episode has to offer. And then how did Migi survive? So you're, are we saying that Goto absorbed Migi to put as another parasite inside him? Like what benefit does that do for him? Does that make him stronger? Um, because if that was just a written plot point, like put him in there to then come back, I, I don't know. Y'all let me know. One more episode should be up this week. I appreciate it. Like, share, share, subscribe, and as always.